Hello everybody and welcome back to another Coaster Cheetah video and in this video I'm going to be doing a coaster review for Twisted Cyclone Six Flags Over Georgia which is an RMC hybrid iBox track coaster however this is one of the smallest and actually I'm pretty sure was the smallest for a while but I think the smallest is Medusa Steel Coaster at <clears throat> um, Six Flags Mexico but yeah this is only 100 feet tall with a 100 foot drop and the stats are barely even more than the Georgia Cyclone, which is the wooden coaster that stood before it. So yeah, pretty interesting conversion here. However, this coaster does pack a punch. So yeah, do not underestimate this coaster because it delivers some nice ejector props to its layout. And speaking of the layout, let's go over it. So first off, before you even go um, to the lift, you have a little dip, and then you go through some uh, like some airtime hills, some outer bank airtime hills. Great pre-lift section. I always like pre-lift sections on coasters. I think they're really neat. And yeah, good way to start off the ride before you even get to the lift. And then you go up and climb the 100-foot lift hill, and then this drop is pretty interesting. It's 100 feet, so it's pretty short. However, you do get a great amount of airtime. Plus, this ride, this drop actually twists, like it, it curves to the left. However, it doesn't like actually bank. It just like, like twists that way. So it's pretty interesting. And you also get some pretty great head choppers while you're going down the drop. So pretty great, um, especially for only being 100 feet tall, in my opinion great drop there and then you go into a very interesting element this is like a take on george cyclone's old turnaround however it includes inversions it's called a reverse cobra roll and basically you go up into a zero g roll then you curve to the right and then go into a down barrel roll and yeah it's pretty spectacular honestly i like it it gives a decent amount of hang time it's pretty whippy snappy so yeah great element there and yeah, it's a great way to start off the ride. Uh, I will say it's a little slow, however, at the same time, it does um, end up being good because it delivers hang time. So yeah, pretty great there. It's not very often that you see a hang time in an RMC that is not on a zero-g stall. So yeah, great there. And then you go up into this uh, a wave turn, and this wave turn is right like... It uses the same support structure as the lift, and it is crazy. It looks like there's actually a little airtime like hill inside of the wave turn. It's crazy how it's profiled. And this is really when RMC started to be great with their wave turns, because this element is crazy. Even though you don't take it at a crazy speed, like something like Iron Gwazi or Zadra, or maybe even Untamed wave turn, it just ejects you from the ride, so yeah. Very great here. And then you go up into another ejector pop. And this is like over the station. And then after this pop, you stay up and go into a banked hill. And this almost feels like it goes a little past 90 degrees, but it doesn't. I don't think so. It's just like a, you know, a regular bank. And I wish, honestly, because there is more like over banks on this ride, I wish instead of this being an uh, over bank, I wish it kind of like snapped outward to be an outer bank to deliver a quick pop of outer bank air time. I think that'd be great and just make the ride more unique. But I mean, it's not really like an issue in my opinion, just I think being an outer bank would have been more creative and unique. But anyway, then you go up into another ejector pop and then you go down and then up into a zero G roll for the third and final inversion. And yeah, this is great. It delivers some great hang time. It's pretty whippy because it's tall. However, it's very like short how you do it. It almost looks like an inversion out of Planet Coaster that you'd make like customly. It's a great inversion there. And that zero G roll and everything after this reminds me of like all the like the end of Steel Vengeance because it's the zero G roll and then you just have a barrage of bunny hills that deliver great airtime and then a little overbank. And then, like, one more airtime hill, and then you rise up and then snap into the brakes. So, yeah, very short ride. However, it does pack a punch with a ton of airtime. Great elements, three inversions. So, yeah, great lad, in my opinion. It is a little short. However, I think that if it had a third lap, like most RMCs, I think if it had, if it had that third lap, it would just be so slow, like, coming into the brakes. So, yeah, I like this, how it, like, snaps into the brakes like this. So, yeah, I really do like the layout. It's short, but, you know, it does feel like a complete ride, so. 
Now I want to talk about some of my likes and dislikes. First of all, I do really love the color scheme for this ride, as well as the trains, and I love the sign on the lift. The colors are definitely, in my opinion, like one of the best, best RMC colors of any of their coasters, in my opinion. I also love how the trains have different colors. They look like an old car or like pickup truck. Of course, I talked about the sign on the um, lift hill, like they didn't need that, but it's awesome, like theming and yeah i mean the whole thing like the whole plaza area of this looks really great it is one of the first coasters that you see going into the park so yeah i really do like this coaster uh i did talk about this kind of when i was going over the layout like maybe a dislike or a like depending on your opinion again there's no third lap it's short also the pacing you know it is to be expected because it's only 100 feet but you know going through the wave turn and maybe that reverse cobra wall roll or even like the overbank like uh, after the ejector hill you actually do you know slow down a bit the pacing isn't great on this ride so you know i mean depends on like whether you like it or not but yeah so i do think this is a great little rmc though smaller scale rmc and yeah i i just really like this coaster so yeah i I think that pretty much wraps it up. Like, I don't have any, like, real dislikes. Like, it's not a bad ride. It's just, you know, it's probably on the mid to lower tier RMCs. However, that just proves that RMC is even better because this ride is mid to lower tier for the company, even though this ride is actually great. So, yeah, great coaster here. And for my personal score, I am going to give this a 9 out of 10. I was debating between an 8.5 and a 9. However, I do think that deserves the 9 out of 10. Now, I do think it barely does get the 9 out of 10. I almost made an 8.5, but yeah. Definitely still a great coaster. Check it out at Six Flags Over Georgia. It is my second favorite coaster in the park. Still do prefer Goliath. By the way, I will be having a Goliath coaster review next weekend. So yeah, make sure to check that out when it releases. And if you did enjoy, please comment down below. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And comment down below what you think of Twisted Cyclone. And also comment down below any other video ideas that you'd like to see on the channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.